Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, a member of the West Yorkshire Regiment writes a last letter home to his wife. The men knew they might not survive the fighting that was about to begin, and many wrote last letters home. Lieutenant Charles Saunders was born in Lowestoft in 1888. When war broke out, he was working for the Beckles branch of Barclays Bank. He enlisted in the Scots Greys before being commissioned into the 15th Battalion West Yorkshire Regiment. Before his battalion went over the top on the 1st of July 1916, he wrote a last letter home to his wife. My dearest Alma, I feel that I must write you a few lines. Tomorrow evening we go into action, and although I am placing my trust in divine providence and have every hope of doing my duty and coming through, I pen these lines. In the first place, you must be a brave girl. I feel that it is rather poor advice to give you, but for the sake of the dear little mite, you must bear up and be the brave little dear woman that you are. I hope that with the government arrangements for the widows of fallen officers and my insurance, together with, I hope, the help that I expect from the pater, you will be comfortable and happy. I hope that you will be able to bring up the dear little Babs as we had wished. I am glad that we were able to get married, but it is hard to leave you and the little Babs. I am told off for a very important but dangerous job, but I hope to make a good job of it. I can hardly realise that we are to be parted. I am too optimistic altogether. I feel that I have a lot to tell you, but cannot. Take care of yourself. You are a dear girl, and I had hoped to have a long, happy life. Just you and I, and perhaps some dear little ones. But it is not to be. I am making arrangements so that in the event of anything happening, this will be sent on to you. Father has the papers that are necessary to put my affairs in order. You will doubtless read of the whole thing in the papers. My battalion has the post of honour. Well, my dearest old pet, I am fit and well. Looking hopefully forward to tomorrow and trusting that in a few days I may destroy this letter. Give my love and kisses to Babs and explain to her when old enough the sacrifice we have made for the country. This village has been shelled today, and at the time of writing, the guns are flashing out. God be with you. Love, comfort and support you. I have made my communion and feel ready for all that which fate has ordained for me, trusting in God. With fondest love, I remain, dearest Alma, yours to all eternity, Charles. Charles Saunders' battalion left the trenches opposite Serre to be met by a hail of bullets and artillery shells. Within minutes, 24 officers and over 500 other ranks had been killed or wounded. Saunders fell in action, but his body was never identified. Today, he is remembered on the Tiepval Memorial to the Missing. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, 
a member of the Bedfordshire Regiment, recalls taking a German trench.